Hello. Um, so uh, in certain names, we uh, use com Control D a lot of time. Control D for duplicate is a fantastic tool. But uh, we all know that whenever we duplicate an object, basically, uh, if this is an original object, it has an input history. If I press Control D first, it does the copy paste at the same time. It's duplicated, so I need to move it. But when I move the duplicated object, the entire input history is gone. If I select this object, the input history is there. So certain equations, we need to have that input history available with the duplicate object as well so i can actually edit the shapes and modify them as well so for that you actually need to go into duplicate special option box so what you do is you go into edit instead of pressing ctrl d you press ctrl shift d that's a shortcut for initializing or showing you the duplicate special dialog box so if i come into the option box here or if i press ctrl shift d this dialog box would appear this is basically where we actually go and select for example copy but once we do the copy, we go and say duplicate input graph. This would actually, if I click apply, and if I duplicate, you would find that this object is a duplicate. However, it contains all that basic input history from beveling extrusion to your uh, the main poly node. So I can go back into it, edit this object if I want. And obviously it will mess the, the editing up, but that's that's what we basically do. So um, sometimes you need to duplicate an object, but you want to keep its history intact. This is how you need to do it. Are a very neat trick. You come into the duplicate special dialog box, go into copy, and make sure you click on the duplicate input. That would input a duplicate entire input graph. Okay, thank you very much. This is Maya in one minute. Um, Dr. Zishan here. See you around. Fiamandala.